expensive every day. To the point where many people feel they cannot purchase a new vehicle, it's simply out of their reach. Well, today here on RumbleStrip.net and 10 minute test drive, we're getting back to basics. We're having a look at the 2018 Kia Rio EX. It's proof that you can purchase a new car, a quality new car, for under 20 grand. So what's the Kia Rio like to drive? Uh, it's not bad. It doesn't have an abundance of power, but it has sufficient power to get you up to highway speeds without too much of a problem, uh, really without any problems. In and around the city, it has enough power to get you stoplight to stoplight without any issues there as well. Uh, on the road, the steering feel is not really there. It's numb. Uh, you know, you steer it, it goes in a place, but there's not exactly any kind of real feedback to it. Uh, again, not a performance car, it's simply a utilitarian vehicle, and probably for a utilitarian vehicle, that's fine. I don't think the people driving this car, buying this car, or even leasing the car, uh, are really concerned about ultimate steering feel. They just want to make sure that when they turn the wheel, it goes in the direction they expect it to, and nothing funny happens. This one doesn't. Suspension is fine. Um, the Koreans have done a better job over the years of refining their suspension, and it does a decent job. Uh, here in Southeast Michigan, our roads suck, and it has had no problem coping with the bomb craters and frost heaps and everything else around. So no matter where you live, it should be okay for that as well. The interior is nice. I mean, again, you're talking a sub $20,000 vehicle, so the cloth in it is good, it's quality. This one has heated seats. The plastics on there are not objectionable. It has a good infotainment system. Uh, you know, the audio is acceptable. Uh, again, you're not expecting, or you shouldn't be expecting a lot or just like phenomenal amounts of stuff. But the value for dollar is certainly here in the interior. The interior cabin noise is actually quite good. It's not dead silent, but it's certainly better than what you should expect for a sub $20,000 car. Uh, it's better than some cars costing maybe 50% as much as we've driven over the past six months. So well done to that. I mean, you're isolated, but it's, it's nice. If you turn everything off stereo and you know, like put your photo on silent mode and everything like that, you have a nice quiet cabin which brings you a little bit of tranquility, which is rare in today's world. So the Kia Rio is really a vehicle that's all about getting back to basics. There's nothing too fancy about it. There's nothing special about it. There's nothing that's going to invite a lot of passion about it. But that doesn't mean it's not a vehicle that you shouldn't look at. This vehicle, as stickered, is just under 20 grand, and we'll break down that for you here in a few minutes. But if what you need out of life or out of a vehicle is something that's good sized and I hate to say properly sized but it just feels it, it feels properly sized zipping in and around the city it's not a big car it's not small it's not mid-size it's sort of that for us a Goldilocks kind of size but it, it's good you can fit four people in here comfortably without a problem it has a good sized trunk that you can put a lot of good put a lot of stuff into um, it's going to get near 40 miles to the gallon on the highway, 38 without a problem, and that's if with you zipping down the highway at 80 miles an hour. In the city, it's going to get something close to 30 miles to the gallon. So fuel economy, space, reliability. I mean, it's a Kia. These things run forever. It's not quite a Honda but you know, or a Toyota, but it's not that far from it. So let's touch on the price. 19425 with delivery. This vehicle has one option, that's $130 for carpeted floor mats. Other than that, it's pretty much stock 1.6 liter, uh, four cylinder engine, six speed automatic, 15 inch uh, alloy wheels with four wheel disc brakes, dual airbags, the usual stuff. This has Sirius XM, it has the UVO uh, Connect system for Kia, which is you know their system, it's fine. 10 year uh, powertrain warranty, five year basic, and uh, five year 60,000 mile roadside assistance. So again, warranty is good on this, and it's probably rare that's ever gonna be in the shop. Now, here's the thing about Kias. If you go into a Kia dealer and sneeze, they're gonna give you a thousand bucks off, probably more than that. Kia are trying to move vehicles, and they're willing to make a deal 
left, right, and center. So whether you're going to purchase this thing, again, this thing, you know, at 19.5, you probably could walk out the door purchasing it for like you know 18 without taxes and stuff like that, local state taxes. Um, if you were to lease it, probably under 150 a month. Again, that's pretty affordable for a car that you're not going to have to worry too much about. So, the real questions. Is this a vehicle that you should buy? Um, yeah, I think it should be up there if you're in shopping in this category. Is it our first or second choice? Maybe even third choice? Probably not, but that's in this category. We'd look for a five-door hatchback just because it's far more useful. Uh, Kia would have a five-door version of this that we would find a little bit better. That said, if you were to choose this vehicle, could we argue with that decision? Not really. Again, it doesn't do anything superb. It just does everything pretty well. So, the transmission. Is it a little rubber bandy? Yes. Do you care? Probably not. The steering, as we mentioned. Does it have any feel? Not really. Will you care? Doubt it. Uh, the power is sufficient. It's comfortable. It gets good fuel economy. If you're looking for basic transportation or you're looking for a solid vehicle that's not really going to cost you a lot of money for the purchase, for the upkeep, the insurance, the whole ownership experience, is this something that should be on your short list? More than likely. If you like what you've seen, give us a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you next time on rumblestrip.net and 10-Minute Test Drive.